It feels like forever since we've been at the parking lot to do a speed test. But we're here and I'm excited. We've got this $200 budget four wheel drive RC truck, uh, tenth scale. I think it looks great. It's a really nice looking thing. You know, I don't expect it to go extremely fast. It's a brushed setup. We're running on a nickel metal hydride six cell 2000 milliamp with a Tamiya plug battery. The ESC does have a jumper on it. So you should be able to switch over to a nice 2S LiPo, but unfortunately because of the Tamiya plug, I, I tried a converter that I had, but it did not fit. My Deans to Deans just didn't fit. So I've got to maybe look into just probably going to cut off the Tamiya off the truck and run Deans in the future, but we're going to run it as stock today. I don't expect to set any records. We're just curious to know how fast is this puppy? And then hopefully in the very near future on the channel in a day or two, we'll run it and bash it and have some fun, what it's really made to do. So for today, we're gonna slap the speed meter on there. And actually, we're going to retire that speed meter today. This will be the last video that we're using the old okay. speed meter on. We got a new one, it showed up in the mail, and I just didn't get it charged in time. So we're gonna use this one one last time. We have a nice, generally hobby grade setup in here. I mean, yeah, the parts, everything is gonna be a little bit cheaper than a traditional name brand vehicle. But I like the size of the battery tray. We can definitely fit in larger lipos. I'm not worried about that. That's awesome. The battery strap does swing around to the bottom with exposed Velcro on the bottom. I like that because then it cleans up the strap from just flopping around. We have a dedicated ESC and receiver. Sometimes when we see a more budget vehicle, we do see ESC receiver combos. So I'm happy to see they're separated. There's our nice brushed motor with a heat sink on it. And then our steering servo here and an on off switch. Not a bad setup for the price. All right, it's on zero. Let's go. Okay. You know, every time we do something like this, it reminds me back to our Iron Track Spada days when we only had about, I don't know, what was it, 150 bucks per vehicle or so? Yeah. Uh, I think I would have preferred something like this, but we both got short course trucks. They were budget when we had them. Okay, here's full, full speed, full throttle. Woohoo! Woo we're kicking. <laughs> I'm going to guess 25 kilometers an hour, which is like maybe 15 miles an hour. There's full throttle. <laughs> One more pass, as close as we can get it. It does look good, but it's not super fast. I'll bet it'd go a little faster on a lipo. But let's see, Abby, what's your guess on the speed? About what I said? I'm gonna guess everybody's gonna be more interested to watch this girl parallel park. Ah, oh, poor kid. <laughs> how fast the truck. I was really close. I got 29, 29 kilometers an hour. 29 kilometers an hour. The conversion will be on screen. I'm hoping the new GPS speedometer that we got is uh, miles per hour. It finally. is, it is. Well, it's the updated version of yeah. that, which you guys have been hounding us for like ever yes. to get uh, originally you had to do like this firmware update and it was we just really never did just don't want to do we'd it. rather google it every single time yep that's me <laughs> <laughs> but if they finally make one in miles per hour how she did the price i think she did it we missed it that's okay abby you want to give it a shot sure it actually drives pretty well i'm really excited to take it bashing so it tomorrow, looks really cool it yeah. needs some lights so that's what i mean i agree the light bar on top would look great. Let's see if we get a little zoom action here. Abby, it's been forever since we've done a speed test. It feels like it's been months. I mean, this thing is holding really yeah, small. Your hand's yeah, free right now. Free. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you wanted a nice budget basher, this isn't setting any speed records, but a first time RCer, you know, a significant other, a kiddo, you don't want it to go much faster than that anyway. You also have 29 Woo! kilometers an hour. Good job. Yeah, I love the way this looks. It's running really well for a brushed 10th scale ready to run vehicle. I think we are on to something here. I like but the graphics on it. I do too. Good. I do too. And they, they came, it came with stickers. We had to put those de the decals on. Yeah, you know, you could easily upgrade this puppy over time too. You could upgrade the wheels very easily. The shocks would be an easy upgrade. It's all nice and easy to work on. Some guys don't like uh, not being able to see through to the interior. Sometimes I like just a good darkened out window because I mean this one there's nothing much to show off in here but you could swap out bodies on this. Not a bad setup. You could really add some scale detail. 
Abby said, you know, maybe some lights here. You could cut some into the front. You could easily add them to the bumper here. And for me, a light bar seems like a no-brainer on a vehicle that looks like this. Yeah, not, not a bad setup. I'm not gonna tell you guys to run out and buy this thing until we've bashed it because this is a basher. It's not just something that you're gonna come to a parking lot like this and just open it up. If that's all the space you have access to, and let's face it, some people that live in maybe bigger cities or something, this type of area might be the only thing you have access to. Hey, it's still fun, but Abby and I like to go bash it at the hill and some other spots before we give a strong recommendation. So what we'll do, we'll have it linked in the description box below. You guys check it out for yourself. It's hovering right around the $200 price point, maybe 210, might be like 190 or so. It fluctuates a little bit. And just keep your eye on it until we do a bashing video. If you're not subscribed, it's a good opportunity to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We do a lot of follow-ups like this. Sometimes we do follow-ups after months or even years later to let you guys know how vehicles are holding up, RC planes and boats and things. And for just all the fun that we get to have, and get out and enjoy this hobby together as a family. The kiddo's in there too, she'll enjoy the hobby with us when we're done on camera. I just thank God. It's a really awesome hobby to share with a family. Anything that gets you active together, especially outdoors, and we get to work on these things inside while we're home, I'm just really grateful for that. I really think it's one of the most well-rounded hobbies that's offered out there. You know what would be fun? Because this is a shorter video, I'd like to hear from you guys. We've talked so much over the last seven years and some of you guys are new subscribers but I don't know much about you what are some of your favorite hobbies other than RC do you pair RC with another hobby I know Abby and I like to fish with a boat or a drone right some guys actually do that do you fish and share it together what other hobbies do you enjoy pocket knives for me I like to collect a few pocket knives with my RC's I'd love to hear from you guys well before we go I want to say a huge thank you to all of our patreon supporters you guys keep the channel going if you're donating a dollar or more all this content is free because of you guys you're the best thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts before you click away there was a vehicle that we did I think less than two or three weeks ago it was a ZD racing vehicle. Abby's not a huge fan of them, but she was a fan of this vehicle. And it was about the same price as this, and it just smokes this on speed. So if you're looking for a fast RC, we'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye.